you came across this question in your chemistry exam be it you are preparing to write the jump exam post utme examination or any other chemistry related exams how will you solve it it is extremely very easy now let's solve together the question says a small quantity of solid ammonium chloride they told us that the chemical formula for this compound which is ammonium chloride is nh4cl and they said this compound which is a small quantity of ammonium chloride was heated in a test tube wow i saw that i'll take note of that so let's just you know illustrate what this question is talking about so here is a test tube let's say this is a test tube for instance and it told us that this compound was heated inside this test tube okay let's say they said that a small quantity of solid ammonium chloride was heated in a test tube this is the test tube now and let's say the compound was is inside this test tube i believe you are following me was heated that means a flame was under this test tube so let's say here is the flame heating the test tube okay let's take this to be a flame heating the test tube okay so this must be noted so here is the flame now heating the test tube so now moving further they now said the solid gradually disappeared because this is the compound inside the test tube and what's the compound nh4cl and what's the name of this compound ammonium chloride they told us that this solid inside this test tube gradually disappeared wow a compound was solid before and when we start eating this compound with this flame this solid we are looking at now gradually starts disappearing from this test tube are you following me now start gradual, gra gradually disappearing from this test tube so we'll note that we'll put that point in our mind for we to analyze and get the answer to the question at the end it is very easy so now the solid gradually disappeared to produce a mixture of two gases wow something was solid before now it gradually disappeared wow let's take let's take note of that the compound was in solid state and when we start heating the compound that was solid gradually disappearing and changing to a gas okay but they specified you know mixture of two gases but let's just note that it is a gas that this solid was now forming at at the process of heating the test tube are you following me so moving further later a white cloudy deposit was observed on the cooler part of the test tube wow let's note that before we read the final question and get the answer so after the gas was formed later a white cloudy deposit was observed on the cooler part so and after the gas was formed later white solid deposit was not found on the cooler part of the test tube do you understand so now they now say the ammonium chloride is said to have undergone so they are now asking us what process did this compound ammonium chloride went through are you following me now they're asking us what because ammonium chloride was a solid before when we start heating the compound what we know the compound changed its face do you understand it changed from something to be a solid to a gas without passing through any liquid form to have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions i already have them on the chemistry masterpiece okay which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry so if you are preparing to write the jam exam this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen so we have to put that in our mind so this must be noted the process whereby a substance changes directly from solid to a gas state is simply called sublimation sublimation is a separation technique alongside other separation techniques here in the option and others which are not in the option are you following me now so what ammonium chloride undergone in this particular question is simply sublimation so the answer to this question is sublimation it is extremely very easy now let's analyze other options 
Now you can see the first distillation is the uh, ammonium chloride undergo distillation. It can never undergo distillation. Why? Because distillation works on the principle of separation of, of liquid. Ammonium chloride was it a liquid or a solid? It was a solid. So it can never be distillation because distillation has to do with separation of liquids based on their boiling points. You know, on distillation, we have different types. We have fractional distillation. We have simple distillation. Do you understand? We have other types of distillation though. Just know that distillation works on the principle of separation of liquids based on their boiling point. That means there'll be a temperature. There'll be a temperature range. Do you understand? And what you'll be seeing this in the question will be liquid, not solid. So that is why option A can never be the answer. Moving over to option C, Option C is precipitation. Now, precipitation works on the principle of formation of solid. Here, what was formed? Gases. Was it solid that was formed? No, gases was formed. So definitely, the answer to the question should be sublimation and not precipitation. And let's work towards evaporation. The principle of evaporation is actually very easy because it has to do with the change it has to do with the, you know, the change of state of a liquid to become a gas. Ammonium chloride, was it a liquid or a solid? It was a solid. Because I said that evaporation has to do with the change of state from liquid to what? Gas. And this one is solid to gas. So definitely it's sublimation. Are you following me? Now, this must be noted. There are other substances that undergo sublimation. It is not just ammonium chloride. What are the examples? We have other examples like the first ammonium chloride which is nh4cl another is iodine iodine undergoes sublimation another is ferrozene another is benzoic acid benzoic acid is an organic compound it also undergoes sublimation another is dry ice dry ice is solid carbon four oxide dry ice is co2 in solid form are you following me? We have candies. So all of these are examples of compounds that can actually undergo sublimation. So in some other question, they can actually just change the compound to be any of these. Do you understand? So you can actually stay inside without stress. So we've come to the end of this video lesson. If you find my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my videos with your friends. Thanks for watching.